Brainy Doze presents How to Look Good in Every Picture 13 Pro Tips and Tricks Have you ever seen a picture of yourself and felt mortified by what you saw? Now, that may be a bit over the top, but really, everyone could use a little help to look better in photos. While some people seem to be naturally photogenic and others not so much, it's really all tied to how we respond to the camera. We all get caught in front of the camera now and again, but don't worry, with the following tips on your side, you're sure to look your best. But first, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Okay, let's get to it. Number 1. Study photos of yourself. The first step is simple. Learn from the past. You need to know how you look in photos before you can improve, right? Gather some old pictures together, even if they make you cringe a little. By analyzing these old snaps, you can find out what helps and what hinders you. Take note of the angles and see what highlights your features. Look over how your body is positioned in the shots and find a few flattering or natural poses you can use in the future. Number 2. Practice in front of a mirror. Now that you have figured out what works for you in photos, head over to a mirror. Take the time you need and start using what you've learned from your old pictures, practicing in front of the mirror. Your starting point is to narrow it down to a handful of poses and angles you like best. Work on your favorites so that they come naturally to you, and you'll be able to mentally pick out a pose in the future, without a mirror. One thing that goes great with a nice pose is a matching smile. So try out several smiles until you find one that fits. You should consider whether a closed or open mouth smile looks better, going for the more natural look. Number 3. Wear flattering clothes. The clothes you wear are an essential aspect of good pictures. Consider both your skin tone and body type when picking your outfits, and you should look for colors and garments that accentuate them. Don't worry, it's simpler than it sounds. Clothing that is tailored or cut well will naturally be more flattering, while baggy clothes have the unflattering effect of making you look broader than you are. So do your best to stay away from those. When it comes to colors, try to lean toward more neutral choices. Black, navy, white, and olive, for example, pair well with most skin tones. Keep your eye on the patterns of your clothes too. They can negatively pull focus altering your appearance in the photo. If you have your heart set on a pattern, choose it for only one element of your outfit, and steer clear of small, busy patterns. Number 4. Don't face the camera directly. Let's be honest, facing directly into the camera makes you look a bit weird. Not only that, it might bring out the double chin of doom. That's a surefire way to ruin any photo. Instead, Position your body slightly away from the camera and turn your head toward the lens. Then, lower the shoulder that's facing the camera a little bit. This will complement your features, your jawline primarily, resulting in a much more flattering shot. Also, remember to pay attention to where your eyes are looking too. The safest option is to look straight ahead. It's as easy as that. If you start looking in random directions, people won't know what you are trying to convey. If you look up, you may come off as confident or proud, or like you weren't ready for the picture. If you look down, you can seem sad or just deep in thought. And if you're one of those people who always blinks when a photo is taken, relax. And instead of forcing your eyes open, try to blink right before the camera goes off. Number 5. Relax your mouth to relax the eyes. Sometimes, what we see as awkward in a picture is just a display of tension. Our brains pick up on tense body language, even in photos, and we see it as inauthentic. The eyes are one of the places where tension shows up the most. It doesn't matter if you have a huge smile. Unless your eyes are relaxed, you'll end up looking like you're scared or like you don't want to be there. Remember to take a breath and let your mouth relax. This simple action will help your whole face and your eyes to relax so that you can smile without the tension. Number 6. 
Say money. I know we're used to saying cheese, but this only creates a fake smile. Ditch the cheese and try out the word money instead. The ending E is a stronger sound that forces the corners of your mouth upward and creates a crinkle around your eyes. The result is a more natural, realistic smile. You can also think of a happy memory or a funny joke. Laughing at the camera gives off a more lively and in-the-moment vibe. Another great trick to prevent a smile that is too wide or gummy is placing your tongue on the back of your front teeth. Number 7. Sit up straight. If you want good shots, you need good posture. So be mindful of how you position yourself while sitting or standing. Slouching, whether you're sitting or standing, looks terrible in pictures. It makes your neck and body appear shorter than they are. And worst of all, it makes your waistline appear bigger. To avoid this, keep your spine nice and straight and pull your shoulder blades closer together. If you're sitting down, don't lean back. Sit a bit forward and turn halfway to the camera to add definition. Number 8. Don't square your body. The camera really can add 10 pounds, depending on how you stand. If you stand directly into the camera, you're prone to looking more chunky. However, if you keep your legs shoulder width apart, bend your front leg and distribute your body weight to your back foot, the result will immediately make you appear slimmer. Standing at a three-quarter turn is always a winning pose, especially if you're with a group of people, as this position cuts your size in almost half. Also, try to wiggle your way into the center of group shots when you can. You won't be sticking out awkwardly at the edge of the group, and people on either side can cut off a few inches. When it comes to taking groupies, you should always pass the camera to the person with the longest arms. They'll be able to get everyone in the frame, Plus, they can comfortably hold the camera upward while tilting it down a little, so everyone is at their best angle. Number 9. Do something with your hands. Doing something with your hands will help you appear more at ease, instead of just having your arms dangling by your side. Ladies, this could be as simple as touching your hair. The natural movement of doing a little root fluff or playing with the ends will also infuse your pictures with spontaneity and sincerity. Another great trick that works like magic is placing the hand closest to the camera on your hip. This also adds definition to your upper arm. Guys, perhaps the most natural thing you can do is put your hands in your pockets or cross your arms. You can also use props to eliminate that awkwardness. They not only provide an anchor for your hands, but they also keep the shots feeling fresh and dynamic. It could be as simple as holding a drink or sunglasses. If you are sitting down, hold your hands in a relaxed grip in front of you. Number 10. Emphasize your face. You can also use your hands to draw attention to your face subtly. Just don't clench your fist and lean your head on top of it, as it can look forced. Instead, Gently cup your extended fingers under your chin without making contact, drawing focus to your features. Number 11. Choose the right lighting. If you want to look good in pictures, you must pay attention to lighting. Getting some sunny snaps on a bright day sounds fantastic, right? But in reality, the sun can quickly move to an unfavorable spot and create harsh shadows and raccoon eyes that are anything but flattering. If you want a beautiful glow, the best time for pictures is in the evening hours as the sun is going down. Otherwise, opt for slightly cloudy or overcast days. It's also worth mentioning that standing right under an indoor light will have the same effect as the sun, so try a source of natural light instead, such as a window. Number 12. Clear the background. Believe it or not, the background can either make or break a photo. Having an overcluttered background can pull focus from you, the subject, and make the photo look busy. When you are posing for pictures outside, use a plain wall or building as your background. When indoors, make sure that your environment is clean and free of clutter. Number 13. Be authentically you. When it comes to pictures, we usually have an idea of what we want ourselves to look like. 
but we tend to try too hard, and this can lead to awkward smiles and unnatural poses, ruining our snaps. The best thing you can do is let go of all that stress. The camera is supposed to capture you, so allow yourself to be in the moment, and you'll be much more relaxed. Instead of overanalyzing how the picture will look or what people might think, be true to yourself. Draw strength from your sincerity, and this will show through in your photos. Just be yourself. No filter can top that. All in all, your photos are probably not as awkward as you think. You're probably just judging yourself too harshly. But as long as you avoid silly poses and remember to use these tips, you're well on your way to looking great in pics. And if you know any other tips and tricks that didn't make this list, share them with us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.